You are still with us on Economic Buzz. We still bring our discussion about business and investment strategy in 2013. Mr. Ariana, yes, for sir. sure, when we talk about Indonesia as the part of the global market scale, okay. we have a lot of countries or nations in terms of either politics and particularly on the economic relations mm -hmm. diplomacy. We talk about the trading partnership. This is something cannot be avoided when we talk about the globalization or what so-called free trade area, free trade area, right? Any significant progress, let's say, on Indonesian trading partnership growth related to this kind of Indonesian communities during 2012, because yes. many are occurring. There is one exact example mm. of this. We have the sources of energy, mm. calls to China, mm -hmm. okay? Um, oils to China. Coal to India, mm. coals to India, mm. CPO to India and China. Mm. Just from several commodities that maybe it was underestimated by any analyst or mm. any certain of people. Mm. But this this forgotten commodities yeah. is actually unexplored, unexplored, unexplored as well. Unexposed, mm. unexplored mm. and not yet well organized. Mm, mm. We have no strict or let's say a fixed regulation mm. to handle this kind of investment, mm. to handle this kind of resources. Mm, mm. It's not like gold. Mm. So this CPO, it is a need for any mm. um, food or beverages mm. industries. Mm, mm. Okay. This consists of any basic needs of mm. any people. Mm. You have to feed, you have mm. to eat from this kind of community. Mm. But here in Indonesia, mm. CPO is not well exposed. I see. It's not well organized. It's ironic because while at the same time we have this kind of abundant, abundant. natural resources when we talk about the CPO, right? Mm -hmm. But it seems like we haven't been able in finding the best way in optimizing yes. this. Well, when we talk about uh, resources, resources that can be used, let's say, as the uh, trading uh, mm -hmm. activity with the other nations, are we in a way only trapped within several commodities only like we only focus yes. on as you said yes. energy resources all the time all of this time to china uh, don't you think it will make our much longer period of let's say trading activity will be put in dangers when we keep focusing on a certain uh, resources let's say energy it yes. will be depleting, right? And right. we export it mainly to China all of this time. And they use it for their industry. industry. Don't you think it's something ironic as well here? Mm. We have this high import goods. We have this in our mm. imported goods, imported items. Mm -hmm. We don't produce it here. Yeah. Instead of producing, because we have the labor, <coughs> we have the resources, mm. we have the skills, mm. but we have no strict or good or strong policies mm. to organize this, this factors mm -hmm. so instead of doing things we just being enjoying the mm -hmm. good way of saying that this is my comfort zone mm -hmm. so we have to start our initial step to a bigger step mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. so instead of importing things importing goods instead of that we can produce it ourselves we have to sustain By ourselves, ourselves. yes right. we have to send ourselves mm -hmm. don't be or depending on other mm -hmm foreign investors that are producing mm. the goods, mm. send it here. Lessen the dependencies, you yes. are implying that. Um, so far, do you think that the trading activity we have established or built with the other nations or countries, we already reached the, what do you call this, uh, definition of having a mutual benefiting trading activity or simply just no. being benefited by one part only? Only one part, mm. one part, and it's not ours. Mm, mm. Because the way I see it, we do have resources. Mm. They use this term of supply and mm, demand, mm. but we have this, 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 this upper hand, we have mm. the opportunity mm. of selling our goods mm. to a very maybe more beneficial mm. buyers. Mm, mm. If they don't need our product, our service, mm. we can you know, serve it to another country. 
always really try to find the potential buyers try, or yeah. partners here. Try to segment segment the products I see. and diversify the buyers. I see. So we're going vertical and mm -hmm. horizontal. In this segment, you mentioned China, India, yeah. and other Asian nation, mm -hmm. meaning that actually NRC already start shifting their mindset toward seeing only several countries as the main trading partnership. Mm -hmm. Previously, we always uh, focus on United States of America and Euro. also the Eurozone yes. as our strategic trading partner. Mm -hmm. But now, having understood the situation, we are shifting, try to find the other uh, strategic uh, trading partnership as well. Do you think that it's already bring uh, a good progress within Indonesian economic development or it's still quite the same with what we has already done earlier or it's still quite the same mm -hmm. but we are having this progress mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. you know we are developing we are mm -hmm. growing mm -hmm. we try our best to make it better mm -hmm. okay um maybe in the past mm -hmm. we have this obligation yeah. that abandon us mm -hmm. not to start mm -hmm. producing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of it mm -hmm. we just sell the raw material yeah. to other countries simply sell it they you know um have it processed mm. and sell it back to Return us it to us with a higher price with a higher yeah. price that's a nightmare to be honest with you well mr ariana we are going to continue after this one sir right. economic bus will be back soon with more of you from mr ariana nur akbar he is from research and analysis divisions of monex invest in the futures